Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to what is on the surface a fantastic pro player moment, a historic moment in Marvel Contest of Champions. I've got a lot to say about this, including at the end of this video, a theory about why this is happening and a little bit of a, uh, a prediction for the contest. So stick around for that. Grab some popcorn, maybe some candy. By the way, it's Valentine's Day, or what I like to call Happy Discount Candy Day, because at least in the United States, the day after Valentine's Day, everything is like half price. So it's like getting type 2 diabetes for 50% off. You can go to Walmart, you can go to your local grocery store, you can get those giant bag of Reese's chocolates for 3 bucks instead of 6 bucks, and everybody is happy, apparently just not your blood pressure. But... Let's talk about these new crystal drop rates because this is significant and we saw a preview of this in the contest with the new Mr. Sinister bundles, which included the first ever jaw-dropping 5% Grandmaster featured crystal chance to get a 5-star. Now 5%, still pretty dang small. 95% of the time that means you should not get a 5-star. But when you consider that the previous ones were 1% or 2%, that is a tremendous difference in drop rate and that should not be underscored and on the surface and really in reality even the biggest kabam skeptics out there of which there are many will hopefully see this as a positive change for players this means that more people will have access to four stars and especially five stars faster which will grow their roster and allow them to complete content especially content like act five faster and we should all be celebrating that Especially given how, when I started playing this game, five stars, four stars were like five stars. It was impossible. There were no crystal shards. You either got a fully formed four star crystal or nothing. And that meant most of the time, for me and my broke summoner profile, I got nothing. So to go from that to a situation where you, in theory, could get multiple five stars for multiple crystals for 300 units apiece, especially from the Grandmaster form, should be celebrated. So let's start with the regular Grandmaster Hero Crystal, which this is the login crystal. These, the only time I buy these, or actually, excuse me, I never buy these. The only time I get these, I open these, I should say, is with the daily login calendar. And to have a 3% drop rate on that versus a 1% means, obviously, over the course of a year, three times the opportunity to get a five-star and that is really, really exciting. I can't tell you how many screenshots I've been sent in the past six months or so from people who got amazing top-tier five-star champions simply for being uncollected and logging into the game every day. One of the best perks of being uncollected, for those of you who are trying to make the push, and I highly recommend it to everybody who isn't, is that you get a free Grandmaster Hero Crystal about once every two weeks just for logging in with shards that you get every day from its own special Grandmaster login calendar. This crystal could change your account better, and in some ways it has, than the five-star basic crystal or even the five-star feature crystal. I know that's a really rare thing to see, but I've seen it multiple times. It, it is real. Some people watching this may be nodding their head right now because it happened to them. The Grandmaster featured hero crystal, however, is what everybody usually buys, and that's the 300 units per crystal, about 10 bucks per crystal. Very expensive, but... Uh, the game does want to note that the 5-star, 4-star, and 3-star featured champion drop rates will not change. 0.4% chance will still be the 5-star feature, which even though it's pretty much almost impossible to get them, especially without buying hundreds and hundreds, we saw so many people send me screenshots where they either got one Mr. Sinister or two Mr. Sinisters, which is like winning the lottery twice on one ticket, which is impossible in the lottery, but apparently not in Marvel Contest of Champions. For those of you who aren't uh, uncollected, it's also important to note that the featured Hero Crystal still has an increase in that 4-star drop rate to 5% as well, though the featured 4-star will stay at 1%. Now, in general... We should celebrate this, but let me tell you what I have learned in the past three plus years of playing this game and now going on two years with my own YouTube channel. Every time Kabam does something that is unanimously pro player when it comes to giving you better access for a crystal, that means something is around the corner that is about to change the contest as we know it. We know, thanks to Mr. Otriox and his data mining abilities, that at the earliest at the end of this month, but more realistically sometime in March, Act 6 will appear. 
And I can guarantee you at some point, maybe not the first chapter, but at some point in Act 6, we will see for the first time rank up materials to take a 6 star to rank 3. At that point, no matter which 6 star it is, probably even unawakened, they will have more attack and more health than most any 5 star champion, even maxed out max sig at rank 5, level 65. This means that the separation between 6 stars and 5 stars will officially be very apparent. Also, a warning to all of you who grind the 5 star featured uh, arena, the meta will change for the uh, infinite streak once again as people's PI continue to shoot through the roof at the very top because the whales, the whales, are going to clear through Act 6, doesn't matter how many thousands of units it takes, and they're going to rank up that 6 star to rank 3 eventually. So because of this, Kabam knows that in the next month or so, 5 stars are going to start to become a little bit devalued. That doesn't mean 5 stars aren't going to be good. They're still going to be amazing, especially because champs like Blade and Stark Spidey and Medusa, you know, etc. are not going to be available as 6 stars maybe ever, similar to how we still haven't seen a 5 star version of Wolverine or Scarlet Witch to name a few. But because of this, Kabam wants to make it easier to get the 5 star version of a champion knowing that 6 stars still haven't had Awakening Gems or Signature Stones or different uh, rank up items that again haven't existed for a long time, we couldn't rank 5 stars to rank 5. We could only take them to rank 4 because tier 5 basic catalyst didn't exist until the end of Act 5. The same thing is about to happen only with 6 stars going to rank 3 in Act 6. So this is my official prediction. We will see some kind of announcement in the next month or so for Act 6. And with that, it will be very obvious that the people at the very top will have a chance to take their 6 stars to rank 3, thus giving themselves a separation, especially if you've got that 6-star Domino or Ghost or Corvus, Awaken Void, Killmonger, etc. Uh, you're going to see that separation from attack and health in the contest, which of course eventually is going to make its way over, quite scarily, to Alliance War defense. So that is my prediction, yet I don't want to be sounding like I'm Mr. Negative Nancy, even though that's a female name. Uh, I want to embrace this as well because I truly think, in general, for most people, this is nothing but good news, especially for those of you who are going to pull top-tier five stars from Grandmaster Feature Crystals and especially Grandmaster Login Crystals that you get for free every two weeks just for logging in the game. It is about time Thank God we have good news on this Valentine's Day because those offers were pure expired candy level trash. And I'm so thankful to have been able to review this. We'll see how accurate my prediction is when Act 6 gets rolled around in the next month. Until then, have a good one. And as always, please let me know your thoughts on this below. Thank you for supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.